Hello guys, so it is nighttime or late afternoon and uh, I just got done at the gym. I'm very tired, but very good day. I thought it was gonna be a slightly shorter day. I was telling my mom and I were gonna have dinner, or we are having dinner together. And I was like, oh, I'll only be at the gym for like two and a half hours. And then four hours later, here I am. But it was a good day, lighter day on the knee. Just did my regular warm up that I showed you guys in the other video. And then did an upper body day. And there's mommy. Wait, okay, yes. And I interrupted. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. But yes, yeah, did an upper body day and then biked easy biking and then hot cold tub. And then now we're going to go to the pool. And then it's going to come with me. I was telling them how I thought it was going to take two and a half hours and it took four hours. That's always, just, right? Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to go swimming? Yes. You ready to swim? She's like, yeah, move it. <laughs> oh. All right, so uh, I've showed you guys my pool rehab before, but the exercises are a little bit different. I'm not necessarily going for sets anymore. I'm um, just trying to, or accumulating 20 minutes just to have my knee, oh God, I can't speak right now, just to flush out my knee <laughs> um, uh, to end the day. And Lambo, Lambo does not like to swim. She's, yeah, not, not a fan of the water, pools, baths. Nothing. We got her a splash pad and she was not a fan of it. But she likes laying by the pool. I can respect that. Time to swim. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to be on camera? Yes? You want to be on camera? <laughs> okay. So right now I've been doing the pool after my lighter days in the gym. I am going to start integrating it probably almost every day, to be honest, because uh, it's not gonna make me sore or anything, and if anything, it's just gonna make my knee overall feel good, help with the swelling and all that stuff, range of motion. And lately, I've been, pre-surgery, I would do these like three to four sets, but now I've been going for time. So 15 to 20 minutes, depending on how I feel. First I start sitting on the ledge inside the pool, just moving through flexion and extension. I'll do 15 to 20 reps per side. Yeah, so then I'll move into supported hamstring curls. Uh, we waited a little bit to integrate this one in just because to let my hamstring recover a bit more. And I'll do 15 to 20 reps again on each side. This one I could tell feels a ton better than it has, you know, since before the injury, since surgery, since everything. So, and Lambo's yelling at me to keep going. The third exercise in this circuit is the A marches again. And this one, I noticed a huge difference in today, just with the angle that I was able to get on my knee. And it's just feeling a ton more symmetrical. I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that we've started to work on my hamstring, so I'm feeling stronger, more confident there, and just my flexion has gotten a lot better. And balance-wise, it feels really, really even. So yeah, so I'm gonna do this for, yeah, I just did 15 minutes. We're gonna through that, 15, 20 reps on here, 15, 20 reps on the second one, and then I'll go down and back for the A marches, down and back twice. <laughs> So, all done with the swimming, or not really swimming, but <laughs> my pool rehab felt really good today. A lot different than um, when was the last time I did the pool. Saturday was the last time I was in here. And just the amount of flexion I'm able to get on my right knee is now just so much more and a lot smoother. So especially, or I notice the most, I notice it the most on the A marches. So just being able to lift up my knee and like close that angle more and like actually pull in my heel towards uh, me. And I think a lot of that too, not only just getting more movement, better flexion through the knee, but I think now that we've been able to tran the 
tra I was about to say train and hamstring the same word. <laughs> train my hamstring more. It's helped out a ton. Um, it's definitely pretty sore. My right leg is very sore from, I think it was yesterday. Yeah, yesterday did the wall sit air squat combo. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you know what I'm talking about. Honestly, even if my if I wasn't rehabbing from an ACL injury, this would be very hard. So it's a good, good workout, quick workout if you guys want to try it. Um, so I'll have to post about that soon. But uh, but yeah, definitely sore from that. And we started incorporating split squats, which was awesome. Obviously started out with just body weight, body weight assisted, like I'd have a table next to me for support. Um, and then just started with 10 pounds in each hand. And this is all right leg forward. Um, I'm not quite confident enough in doing, we've been trying um, or just testing out with my right leg back. It just doesn't feel as good. Um, so just working through that safely, um, not trying to push it too much, but eventually that would be awesome if I could obviously do it on both sides. But yesterday did sets of 12 split squats. I'm just watching out for a B, but I wanna make sure it doesn't come this way. Yeah. But yeah, sets of 12 and worked up to 45 pounds in each hand, which was awesome with the BFR. And yeah, I'll have to fill you guys in on that too. I know I said that last video, but yeah, it's definitely working. So now that that's all done, need to eat. I haven't eaten since before training, so that was probably around like 12.30 and it's now 5.30 and that's why well, I had a protein shake. But that is way too long for me to not be eating, so I gotta get food. <laughs> you ditched me. You left me out there. Yeah. All by myself. I still love you. Hello, so it is much later. We ate. We were gonna do salmon and then it we had some errands to run, so there just wasn't time. And then, uh, yeah, so I had eggs, <laughs> eggs and potatoes, and some veggies, but uh, just easy and easy to track and all that stuff. So I am eating much later than I would like to, but I still got some protein that I need to get in. So I'm gonna have some yogurt, and I'm gonna show you guys um, the yogurt concoction I will be having for tonight. It's kind of similar to the one that I've shown in a previous video, but this has kind of been the go-to one lately and I might even have, so I've just been buying these just so I don't have to weigh out, um, not that it takes that long, but just so I don't have to weigh out how much yogurt I might actually have one and a half, maybe two of these. But I just did not do a good enough job at bringing protein with me throughout the day. I have at least two shakes a day, but I try not to have like more than three. And by three, I mean like scoops. So I'll have, like usually in the morning, I'll have a protein shake, just one scoop. And then after I train, I'll have two scoops. I'll mix vanilla and the tropical. Um, but I just don't really want another one right now. And I don't really want like a burger or like chicken or something. So we're gonna have yogurt. And I weighed myself today. So um, I haven't really been weighing myself just because, I don't know, just because I haven't felt like it and I wasn't really all that curious until a little bit ago. And I think going into surgery, I was like, like they weighed me before the surgery and I was like 163 or 164, which is like really light for me. Or I shouldn't say really, but like I hover usually around like 170, 175. Then after it, like the other day, midday, so like after having a breakfast and all that stuff, I was like 163 or something. And then today I was 167, I think. But again, that's like fully clothed, having had like a breakfast and a light lunch. So I need to weigh myself in the morning um, just because I feel like this makes no sense. So. Um, I'm gonna check in tomorrow just because I'm curious. Obviously, I'm a little bit lighter because of the muscle I've lost, especially my legs, um, but trying to make up for it with my arms. <laughs> so, but no, but I think that's good that I haven't lost like a ton. Um, so, but back to, but I, I'll check in with you guys tomorrow because I am curious about that. Uh, but, okay, so yogurt. And then I'm gonna do PB2. I'm gonna weigh out one tablespoon. Just kidding, that's two. 
you so I can that seems like a lot. Anyways, two tablespoons of that. And then mix it up. I've also, uh, actually I guess I could have done that, but when I have, but I ran out of chocolate protein powder. Um, the other night I mixed this, so the yogurt with the PB2 and chocolate protein powder, and that tasted really good. But I currently am out of chocolate, and I'm not really feeling adventurous enough to try. I'm sure the vanilla would be fine. Tropical would be very interesting. On its own, maybe. But that's for another time. That's all mixed up. Let me play that. Um, I'm going to mini chips. I'm gonna do a tablespoon, maybe a little bit more tablespoon. Um, and then I'm gonna ooh, that's. Then I'm gonna do some raspberries because I have a little bit more carbs left. And that's one thing too. Like lately, I've been trying to be better about. I feel like with, in the past, when it comes to fruit and stuff, I've just kind of eyeballed. And I'm trying to be more diligent about weighing fruit, weighing condiments, stuff like that, which can be a lot more annoying than weighing everything else, but just gotta do it. Okay, and then the last thing, honey. Just a little bit. So yeah, like nothing, usually a little bit under 10 grams, which is, half a teaspoon or a tablespoon. Well, that is it. Well, I'm going to eat this and then, oh, before that, another thing. So I told you guys that sleep, uh, especially since the surgery, was pretty bad. <laughs> um, mostly because I was having a lot of discomfort, like <laughs> right here, which is in, yeah, so, it just felt like I had a huge bruise, essentially. So any position, like I'm a side sleeper and any pressure, even if it was just a pillow, just really hurt. So I was having extremely bad sleep um, and that's gotten a lot better because that doesn't feel like it's bruised anymore. And one thing that has been helping me a ton with just calming my mind down at the end of the night and staying asleep has been Neurof. So I, I've talked about this before, and more in the context of taking it with Neuron. And I don't know why I didn't think about taking it just as like a sleep aid, but um, this has been super helpful. I'm not taking Neuron right now just because my activity, my workouts have not really required me too much. Um, so, but yeah, but I've been taking this lately, like a scoop, scoop and a half at night. Um, I usually take it like before my last little like meal snack of the night, just to start the wind, bleh, start the wind down process. Um, and it has helped a ton. So I just mix like this, oops, I need water. Okay, so not a ton of water, if you can see. Yeah. So we'll go scoop. And then just like a little more. And then by the time I'm trying to go to bed, like I'm good to go. All right. Cool. That is it. I'm gonna have my yogurt. Um, unfortunately, it's not Wednesday yet, so the latest Loki episode is not out. I am obsessed. Um, let me know if you guys have been watching that too. I thought about last week not watching last week's and waiting till this week so I can watch them back to back. But I just couldn't help myself and I already watched it, so. But yeah, one more. Good morning. Had some coffee, had like a mini breakfast. I don't know, just wasn't craving, just not really in the mood for my regular breakfast. So just had um, lots of coffee protein shake and um, some almonds from Trifecta, which I feel like they just recently started offering. But these cinnamon maple almonds are very good. They're very dangerous though. I have to watch or definitely weigh these out because just like chips, if left to my own devices, I'll just eat all of them. But starting the day off, very productive and we are moving this rug out. It's been a good, I think I've had this rug for more than, longer than I've lived here. So four plus years. It's time to retire it and we're gonna add a new one in. I'm starting to move it very safely though. Obviously I can't 
don't want to hurt my knee or anything trying to move this couch. But the couch is actually a lot lighter than I thought it was. So I'm going to continue to work on moving this before my mom gets here with the new one. All right, so we're not switching out the rugs till later today, so decided to make myself a real breakfast. I've especially noticed lately that I need to do an updated what I eat in a day um, for you guys. I feel like in the last like two months, it's changed so much since changing my macros to uh, complement or more so complement bobsled training and then the injury and then my appetite was just all over the place and then kind of getting back into it. And I definitely found myself not having nearly enough vegetables, so I'm trying really hard at all my main meals to at least have a vegetable in there. So, for breakfast, um, one egg, one egg white, trifecta bison burger with a little bit of Trader Joe's, uh, I think it's green goddess sauce, some toast, some kale, and then of course we're gonna add this onto there. Get some uh, work done, some school work done. I feel like I've talked a ton about my data analytics degree and kind of uh, haven't keeping or kept you guys posted on my master's, which is coming to an end, or at least I don't think I have. But um, so I'm in the capstone class for that to finish my master's and that is going to wrap up um, like end of the summer into the fall. And essentially what I have to do to finish it is complete this portfolio, which is kind of like a thesis, but I think it's a lot better because it's a lot less writing and it's more so kind of um, organizing a lot of the projects and papers that I've done throughout the program into a portfolio and then um, presenting it to some of the faculty members. Obviously not in person, this will just all be virtual, but um, working on that while I have about, I have like two, two and a half, three-ish weeks before my next class starts for um, the data analytics degree. And that one I believe is called, I think it's computer systems and information technology. And then I have a stats course they have to take and then that'll all be done. And then do some work on that. Um, and then going to the gym later. Today will be a bigger leg day. No upper body, all the legs. Gotta grow them back, but it's, it's going good. Uh, physically, we're doing really well. Definitely, I mean, I don't have anything to compare this to really other than my shoulder surgery and it's definitely progressing a lot faster than that, which is great. And you know, still just every day, like, I mean, Mentally, it's still tough. I, I think with this kind of stuff, it's um, it's day to day, and I but I pride myself on being very mentally tough, strong. But there's just some days that I just feel not that at all, and um, but that's okay. That's part of this. Yeah, just trying to focus on what I can control. Sorry, I got cut off by my camera battery. Again, just focusing on what I can control and just knowing that like some days are gonna be a lot tougher than others. Um, even when like the physical process progress is going well, like some days are just like mentally, emotionally just tougher. Um, but yeah, just trying to, again, trust in God's plan, know that, you know, focusing on what I thought these months were gonna be is just not productive, it's not good. I mean, I can't help but think about it sometimes, but um, but just focusing on what I am doing now and the exciting things I get to do now. Again, just putting it into perspective. So Push Championships for bobsledding is coming up end of this month, I believe it's the 30th and 31st. So I'm excited to, I'm hoping I can watch it, I'm hoping it'll be like live streamed and stuff so I can watch. Carlo and all of my other uh, teammates, which will be really cool. Yeah, and then the games are actually, CrossFit games are coming up in two weeks, so that'll be really fun to watch. Oh, and then Connor is coming out 
this weekend slash maybe next week. So that'll be a lot of fun. So I'll get the, we'll definitely be filming stuff together. And he said he would come do a workout with me. So that'll be a lot. But yeah, so I am going to eat breakfast, get some work done. Hopefully switch this rug out very soon. Um, and yeah, clearly I need more coffee. <laughs> um, but I hope you guys are having an awesome day, awesome week. And I'll see you in the next one.